Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Your child can lose a grade level during Christmas break. Yes, that's correct. Education expert Sonny Verma is with us, and he's giving us tips on how to avoid that. And it, you're saying it's possible, Sonny, right? Yeah, absolutely. You can okay. avoid uh, winter learning loss. Okay, so sure. first of all, welcome back to the show. Thank you it's for having me back. It's always good to have you, and we're having you right before the Christmas break. Okay, so first of all, people at home are going to say, what's holiday learning loss? So what so is it? It's very similar <clears throat> to summer learning loss. Not as severe, but there's one really distinct difference, and that is that parents also have the time off too. So I always look at this oh. as an amazing opportunity to have family fun learning activities that you can do collectively as a whole. And you, so you have a couple of tricks here, and you're saying because the holidays are, are around family, this yeah. is a perfect way for kids to get together with their parents and learn. And so you're saying one of them is you can learn math and science through cooking. Yeah, so here's the thing. This is the time of year where everybody's feasting. Yep. That means there's a lot of time in the kitchen, and here's the coolest thing. Uh, the kitchen is actually the in-home version of a classroom. Actually, it's the in-home version of a math and science lab. So what I recommend parents to do is get your kids to come and help out, get them roll off their sleeves, right? Uh, because there's a lot of learning to be had in the kitchen. Now, the first thing that I think of is that you can teach decimals, fractions, and percentages while a fun cooking game, right? I can understand the fractions <laughs> because go get me a quarter cup of this or how much of this but decimals yeah so let me tell you how you actually integrate this now so let's so every single time that you have an ingredient to you get measured yeah. get your child to do it but instead of saying get me half a cup of water yeah. or whatever the ingredient may be say get me 0.5 cup and get them to do the conversion uh, for you so every single time you do have an ingredient get your child to convert it for you now here's a real benefit Kids hate learning yeah. this through worksheets, <laughs> right? They hate learning this through worksheets, but they love learning it in practical form, so you can actually have some fun with it. Now, the second thing that you can do in the kitchen is that you can make it your own chemistry lab, right? Oh, boy. So this is how you do it. Take so, out the vinegar <laughs> and, the, and the baking soda? Well, I, you know volcanoes <laughs> here, right? But what you can do is like what you can do that's a lot of fun is that a lot of families are baking bread. So if you're baking bread, bake two loaves. Leave some ingredients aside, right? And one of the loaves, uh, add yeast, and the other one, don't add yeast. So you show your kids what's actually happening when you apply yeast to bread, right? It, it rises, it rises right? right? So here's the coolest thing is that you're not teaching baking anymore. You're actually teaching chemistry. Oh, look at yeah. Sunny, can you come to my house during the Christmas break? I love this. Okay, so we another... We can bake together. We can bake together and teach the kids. Yeah. Um, puzzles. Yeah, so... You, you know what? We're so... Uh, um, uh, everything is online, electronics. Puzzles, just bring it back to old school. Uh, Puzzles are the, one of the best old school ways of learning, right? So you are learning about spatial sense and geometry. That's like the traditional, but that means you're learning about shapes, sizes, and angles, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. But there's two other amazing lessons. The first one is that if you do this as a family, you're learning about teamwork and collaboration. Who better collaborate than with your own children, right? Yeah. And the second thing that you're learning is patience, right? A puzzle is never done in one move. It's done piece by piece. So you're teaching your kids through hard work, through time, and through commitment, they can actually accomplish a task. And this is something they can take way beyond the puzzle. Essentially, they can take this to everything and anything that they're going to put their mind to. Can we do modern day and put Tetris in there? Uh, I think you can, <laughs> yeah. I missed that game. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that yeah. could work. Okay, last but not least, you say something that's really important. Teach your kids during the Christmas break to think big and yeah. have goals. So yeah. sit down with them and have these discussions. Absolutely. So this is the time of year where you talk about hopes, dreams, ambitions, and you do some goal setting, right? So the best family fun activity that I know of is called vision boarding. Mm -hmm. And it's really simple, right? Step number one, get every single one of your family members a piece of Bristol board. Step number two, pose this question. If you were to live the most amazing life, what would it look like? What would be your dream car? Uh, what, what house would you live at? Um, where would you travel to? What does that help? What does it do to a young child? I'll so show they, They're going to see the Ferrari, let's say, because my boys, I know they're going to put a Ferrari or Bugatti or something like that. What does it do to them to right? have those? So, so it's, it's, you also want to get them to think about how they're going to feel because they're going to think about happiness. Right. So step number three, to your point, is that get a lot of magazines, right? And everybody in the family member goes to town and cutting and pasting pictures that are relevant to their dream. Now, here's the biggest benefit, is that every single family member, when they're done, they can stand up and share their dreams and their visions to their family, which is fantastic. So not only you're, bu you're building collaboration and community amongst your family, most importantly, you're teaching your kids how to visualize, which is the first step to success. Mm -hmm. And what you're also teaching them is how to think big, which is extremely rare today. I always recommend parents, if you have an opportunity to allow your child to think big, get it happening. Oh my goodness, I love having you on the couch. Let's do this again. <laughs> Education expert Sunny Verma, stay tuned to Breakfast Television, guys. So much more coming up right after the break. Always be